Hi, Paul. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. Did I do that in the right order? Anyway, welcome to Building Up To It. It's a Lego fan podcast, episode three. Thank you for everybody who watched the previous two, and thank you if you're watching this one right now. I'll keep this short. I got some brick link orders in because I'm still trying to finish the Carter Industries builds number two and three, but I also got some non-Lego stuff, and I'll keep that even shorter. I got this book about Halo because I got all the Halo books, and I got the Strike Freedom Gundam from ToyCon NJ that I was at this weekend. Sweet. That's all I got, I think. Anyway, Paul, what'd you get? <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I didn't do a lot of building, and uh, I'll actually show you why just really quickly. Uh, just because I have cats, and my cats are, uh, are assholes, in the words of Dust. And it's very difficult to try to build a set with a cat on your lap. So, what were you uh, trying to build there? This was uh, one of the Speed Champion sets. Oh, we should have uh, tried to guess. Oh, it would have been a Bugatti. contest. Bugatti? <laughs> it is the Bugatti. Bam, and, uh, bam, bam. <laughs> you, you win clutch dollars for, for, for guessing clutch that one points. correctly. Clutch, clutch points. points. Sorry. <laughs> the thing I've given away. Clutch bucks. Exactly. Yeah, so unfortunately, I didn't get to, to finish anything, so I just started taking some pictures. This is uh, the Red Hulk and the Green Hulk. In did you, my, did you uh, take that square. after I showed the picture, or did you already have that ready to go? No, I have them in my like kind of town display. I just didn't necessarily have them in this specific spot. In so every every time me and Paul post a little picture of Lego in our in our group chat on Facebook, Chris goes, "Is that real Lego? Is that real though? <laughs> I can't Is trust that you. Real? <laughs> you can't trust us." Well, when Paul says, "I got the hoax, but I didn't get the set it comes with," I'm like, "Okay, that's a red flag. That's a red Hulk it's flag right there." <laughs> this is again before my bricklink awareness i got them off of ebay and uh didn't i had no need for those big the big dune buggy things and i just want the minifigures so that's what we got here are just the the minifigures and i uh just want some and some dainty female version she hulk yeah. and she red hulk exactly she rolk i think is she uh, what rolk. she's commonly <laughs> referred to and I just wanted to spotlight one of my old pictures that I love that I took in front of the actual Brandenburg Gate of uh, of my Lego architecture Brandenburg Gate. Oh, did you get it there or did you bring it with no, you? I, I carted that thing across oceans and, and country lines in order to do this picture because we were going to be in Berlin for just a day. So <laughs> I, I, I literally brought it for this picture. That is ultimately my goal. Um, Shout to out to Photoshop. All of my, all of my architectures. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. Look, my hand is there. That's that's how you know it's real. <laughs> that's a re realistic <laughs> shadow going on there. I can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If this was Photoshopped, that would be a very bad Photoshop. And it would not win uh, J. Ruse's spotlight on Enter the Realm for, by any means. It's, anyway, that, it's all rigged. Hashtag that's all the realm of collectors. Yeah, I'm kidding. Oh, you didn't. You hashtag <laughs> realm of collectors, and it didn't win. So you know, there you go. <laughs> I I pretty much I pretty much hashtag realm of collectors for everything I post just to piss him off. Here's so he a pro tip: if you hashtag it realm of collectors spotlight, it'll show up with all the winners, anyways. <laughs> what? Sneak through, oh, sneak through <laughs> loophole. That hashtag, is awesome. hashtag fuck Jabers. <laughs> Matt, that how is all you? I've got. Matt, how about you? Oh, I had some good stuff. I went to, uh, I bought this set. You guys know I love Lego friends. You both know Olivia is my favorite Lego friend. Um, she's awesome. She's I didn't so know great. that was Olivia. So there's she that. has such a great personality. She just, she's just, <laughs> she's so artistic. I don't know. She's just really talented. No, I was at uh, Value Village. This was in a bag for two dollars, <laughs> and I saw a rad guitar and some other nonsense. So <laughs> it I, was uh, it was glimmering. I had to buy it. <laughs> yeah, the gold record. You know, it had some good good stuff in there. Uh, hit up Walmart. Got uh, the Volcano Exploration Base on clearance. Uh, major clearance. <laughs> Uh, especially love, love the uh, hazmat lava suit guy who's sweating in his suit. And this was I'm gonna the only, have to only set with to, that guy in it to clue you in on. <laughs> look at the volcano, right? Yeah, I, I know the. I don't know if the box is anywhere near you, but if you look at the back of the box, it shows you what you actually build with the volcano. Only yeah, the it's top. like tiny. It's only this only, little. Only the top. All the other background <laughs> that the volcano yeah, is on. It's, it's all implied. Like, it's all implied. Yeah. And then I, I, 
<laughs> I went for the jelly sub because uh, I wanted the hammerhead shark variant guy and the fishbowl head. And then I realized how great this little jelly tank is and it has fire chains on it. You know, some some good bits in there. Some man uh, of war. They're the, the same as the, the Ghost Rider ones, right? The same Ghost Rider yeah. chains? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then oh, I uh, did a little brick link order, got my polka dot man, which I, is, might be my favorite minifigure of 2017. <laughs> Look at his buck <laughs> He's just so intense. Great. This Look polka dot face plate. And, uh, I know his buck teeth are my favorite part. He's got a derpier face. Yeah, he's side. got another <laughs> face. And uh, what's his name? Krabby? Krusty. Krusty. His name's Krusty. <laughs> I think his name's Krusty. Yeah. Oh, he looks I'm... like a shogun. Like, look at him. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a he's that's, a that's shogun so warrior. Awesome. I mean, you know, you don't know where he came from before he was recruited into the fish army of Garamond. He's got a fish knife. He's got a fish knife, and that's it for me. <laughs> that's uh, that's some great stuff. I just remember when you said Ghost Rider. I did buy two of the Ghost Rider sets this morning because yeah. uh, it's our bow, 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 deal alert. Except for in Canada. Not in Canada, no. Not, not in Canada, especially because it's a Target. So last week, Ghost Rider set was 15 from 20 at Target, and we bought a bunch. Okay. And then this week, it's 11 from 20 at Target. They're like, get it? The fuck? Gone. And, yeah, they uh, don't want it. That like set's going to go all the way up once it retires. So everybody go buy yeah. yourself some Ghost Rider. It's a good set. It's a really great set. The bike is super rad. I love it. I mean, it's enormous. It's an enormous bike, but it's super rad. There's so much fire on it. And, and then the other bits are great, too. You get a little street sign, a little stoplight, good, a good little Spider-Man fig. Now, uh, can I ask, why do you, you as a, as a Lego retailer, what, what is it about that set that's going to make that one? The hot Asian thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Just... Paul, come on. You can't do that to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's lower third references the the Asian zing um, sauce from the wing contest. Yeah, so how did uh, that anyway. go for you, uh, Chris? We're not going to talk about that. You, if you want to watch, well, it's not right now because this isn't live. But if you want to watch the the RSC hangout, which is right now, they're talking all about it. I'm sure, and I'm not there to defend myself because I lost the wing eating challenge <laughs> to a man who does not chew. <laughs> that's that a is, secret just, right suck that shit down. eat like eat a duck <laughs> float like a bee and even though dom was there trying to throw us yeah. both off the entire time well shout out to the video you guys can watch jose did that, I saw um, that video. it was pretty funny i think the i think ghost rider is one of those superheroes characters that they're not going to do again i don't think it makes sense for them to do him over and over again like some of the other villains and heroes and it's it's that magic Twenty dollars, three figure price point. That yeah, because you get a hobgoblin in there too. You get some kind yeah. of goblin. Yeah, a hobgoblin. And, and a spider man. Goblin, hobgoblin, Bob Boblin. I mean, aren't they the same character? <laughs> uh, Bob Loblin. Bob Loblin. Bob Loblin. Bob Loblin. Bob Loblin. Lobs Lobom. Bob Loblin. Lobs Loblin. Okay. We're not gonna go into that. <laughs> Killing um, it. So, so the Wolverine. I know these are these are unnecessarily uh, unfair sets to compare to, but uh, the um, the Wolverine Chopper Showdown, right? You're not going to get another Deadpool. It's just not something that's in the cards. And it had three figures. It was twenty dollars. It goes way up. The Ant Man set it was twenty dollars. It's three figures. It goes way up because yeah, Ant Man's yeah. like not that relevant. He's more relevant, but he's still not that relevant. Uh, the, that set is great too. <laughs> the Arctic Batman set, three figs, twenty dollars. It's already up. The uh, Iron Man Extremist Seaport Battle with uh, with War Machine, that's um, three figs, twenty bucks, already up. And huh. it's uh, wait, is there a trend here? <laughs> yes. Buy superhero sets with three figures, at least one of which is not very common. War Machine was only ever in that set, and there's a new version of War Machine in the airport battle. Airport battle, yeah. Which is arguably a different figure because he's like all black instead of gray. So Racist. it's not like a, <laughs> it's not like Iron Man where it's like, <laughs> is he different? I can't tell. So I think the Ghost Rider is going to go up, and I. 
thank Target very much for putting it at like sixty percent, no, forty percent off right now. Yeah. For, for us to buy. To buy. Some more of those now. Yeah, Paul, go <laughs> get them. Get them. Flip them. Flip game strong. So that's anyway, like your most. That's your most recent swoop because you haven't been swooping much lately. I I don't have any money. No, I got all two they had Oof. this morning. Big when I was swoop. At work. Big swoop, and I have the DPCI, so I can see what other targets around here have it, and maybe I'll clean out some more. Uh, second nice. deal alert of the day, because apparently we're doing this now. The second deal alert is that Best Buy has Dimensions on a pretty good sale, and I know, I know. Why bother buying Dimension sets when they probably will just go to the dollar store in the Southwest at some point? <laughs> well, if you don't want to wait, and if you want the newest releases at discount, I recommend Best Buy right now. The problem is none of these retailers ever do something independently. They all kind of copy of each other. You'll see that Amazon doesn't really put things on sale on their own. They just match somebody else's sale is happening at the moment. So if Amazon's having a sale, you can bet there's some retailer that's also having that same sale. So fun packs are six bucks, team packs are twelve fifty, and level packs are fifteen right now at Best Buy. So if you want to get the new... That's like half off. Yeah, if you want to get the new Beetlejuice or the Powerpuff Girls or the Teen Titans Go or the other new one... I mean, aren't go. they all going to get cheap because they stopped They will, they them. will. But if you want to make sure, because I have yeah. a feeling that as they got closer and closer to announcing it's canceled, they probably made shorter and shorter runs of the last... Of the newer ones, yeah. yeah. The newer packs. I, so. I do want to get... Bane, the small Bane. Oh, that's like one of the first packs. That's like one of the earliest yeah, releases. One. Yeah, I saw him at, at my I saw him here. at my Walmart the other day. So he's <laughs> he was twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> there are usually good Black Friday deals on those too. I don't know if this year is going to be the case, but at least in the U.S., those <laughs> this I, I year they're all a dollar everywhere. <laughs> Every store, all <laughs> packs, one dollar. Get it gone. <laughs> I had a really good Black Friday experience last year it was just so nice. calm i mean it's canada right so people are getting the door for you oh no you first day eh? yeah <laughs> hey bud uh you gonna take that last speaker there or uh <laughs> you want this it's, it's the what, surround sound you're gonna split the speakers oh we could both we could share them <laughs> i got long speaker <laughs> wires so uh yeah no it was good they got banana clips eh? Uh, if we're gonna do deals, I just want to do also point out if I could. That's what we're doing. That's what um, we're doing. Now. I got the Lego Black Friday pamphlet in the mail today. You got a Ooh. fourth pamphlet. I know they they love fourth? my house clearly. You got four of them. Uh, well, he got three brochures or something. Oh. Yeah. Now and now this is their Black Friday pamphlet. Uh, I just thought it might be worth pointing out that um, this year's doorbuster is the Palace Cinema. Um, Ten the, bucks uh, the off. Movie theater set. Bust them um, doors. They, they didn't list a price, but typically what? the doorbuster. Well, fuck them! They didn't list a off. price. What? <laughs> doorbuster. It's usually 40 percent off, uh, which has been traditionally how it goes. From the one the per buster. household, each store gets five. <laughs> Likely something to that level, I would imagine. But yeah, for, at forty percent off, that's that's awesome. Um, if it's forty percent off, indeed, I don't know if they change. No this way! Year or not. There's no way it's forty percent off. They did that, that last that. year. With what? The year before. With what? With what? Um, they, keychains? The, uh, yeah, yeah, no, the, keychains are forty percent off. Whoop whoop. No, no, the uh, the AT AT was one year. Oh, um, and then I know Star that Wars the uh, it was either the the Ferris wheel or the like the carousel one, like the what one of the, whichever one was out that year was also forty percent off. Um, but they knew as soon as they released that, that no one point. wanted it. Get real. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, I I don't know if this falls under the. Uh, the bricks on the dollar uh, level of, of collecting, if, if that fits your design scheme. Um, but uh, for those architecturally, of you no, I, I don't want that one. That's like yeah. that and the fire brigade are probably <laughs> my least favorite. <laughs> for those of you who don't have that hang up, it is a really cool looking set. I've got two right now because I ended up with one in a big lot. I got to flip it. So, I, Damn, I, I, and I the Lego like door <laughs> crash is not going to help me flip an open and built set, is it? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to actually, go sixty percent off. I, I've got somebody coming by my store on Friday, selling me a whole bunch of Lego. I guess they just need to cash out. But uh, there's a built one of these, <laughs> and there's a, I think there's a built Palace Cinema. There's also a built Mini and a built Ferrari, and some other sets. So I'm gonna have all those used, assembled to flip, 
in the store. Flippy so flip. what luck. If someone if someone buys that off of your uh, your web store, off the the Bricklink store, do you disassemble it and then send it, or do you actually send it? Can, like, I don't have any it? of the assembled stuff uh, in the online store. He sends it brick by brick, by <laughs> by a bike courier. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hipster. All right. We should get it back on track. We've got a few things to talk about tonight. And the first of which is Paul's feature. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we typically do a spotlight of a, Thank of you, a Matt. creator at this point. And uh, I, I have got a spotlight here this time as well. Um, only, Ooh. of course, the guy I spotlight does not have an Instagram presence. So he had to make it difficult it for everybody. No, it's uh, he he does all his stuff on Facebook, and uh, this is Len underscore D sixty nine Creations. Facebook's this is his so day. like last century. Right <laughs> and this is actually um, the guy who designed the the Voltron set, the, the Lego Ideas Voltron set that was just uh, approved. And Dude, I uh, can't, I we'll cannot be, wait until we get images of that, and then the ETR is like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to feature a couple of his pictures, just to to kind of show some of the other stuff that he does work on that has gotten almost no support in relationship to that Voltron, because it didn't hit that kind of niche, I suppose. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, just to kind of go through, this is. Um, this was the actual kind of presentation page of, of the Voltron set. And My favorite part of that Voltron has got to be the grill tile on its side as the crown above the crest on its chest for some reason. Just putting the grill tile sideways so it looks like a little crown. Oh, this yeah, one? yeah. That's the, gold, the gold one. Gold, oh, the gold one. Yeah, right there. That is this a, is a little crown, yeah. He's got a lot of really smart, uh, at least what I think are really smart, creative ways to use a lot of the bricks, and that that definitely is an awesome idea there. Um, but this obviously is a, a render. So this is what it actually looks like in one of the, the versions looks like in person. He's made multiple versions that I'm sure will also be uh, Lego-fied, much like the, the, the fishing store was. Uh, hopefully it'll yeah. look something like this when it's done. But, uh, <laughs> but just in case, he does have other things that he has designed as well. Um, this here oh, would be... The Lego designer will be like, I didn't leave a brick untouched. It's, it's now right. a Megazord. It's, 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 not, it's not called Voltron. It's called Anton now. Yeah, it's Anton. <laughs> Anton. <Yeah>. Antron. <laughs> but uh, he also designed a, a Voltron castle, Alliance castle, which um, no, would never get approved. No, it's really Anton. boring. Antron. <laughs> exactly. It's very accurate, but uh, we'll never get approved. Because yeah, no one's going to want this. I uh, uh -huh. I would love to see Bobby Skullface review the Lego Ideas Voltron when it comes out. Yeah. I think I think one of you guys, if you're getting it, you should send it to Bobby. I'm definitely getting it's it. Be... Uh, I'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll give it a shot. He'll crush that thing with his thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of those guys can handle Lego. Well, no, I, I think you'd think have so. to build it and then send it. Yeah. But then it would yeah, fall apart and you'd be like, it. it's got all these extra pieces. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the build quality isn't great. <laughs> uh, he he, he did a, a good pain. job uh, capturing the, the differences in the lions, you know, the, the fatter head on the, the yellow lion and stuff. Yeah, this is this one is for the, um, the current Netflix Voltron, which I thought um, is a little bit more um, kind of to 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 up to date i suppose um, were these, but again is this a different like were these images on his one that got approved on that project or no, is this, this just is another okay this is a different one this is also one that has been submitted but has nowhere near ten thousand votes so because because uh, the rumor is that they, it'd be easier for lego to just do this voltron than the old voltron um, but I don't think it would sell as many, to be honest, because well, it's all it's all the us turbo nerds who want that other one. So turbo that's nerds. The, that's where the big one. Yeah, exactly. Um, the hell's a one turbo is, nerd? <laughs> Neckbeards, whatever you want to call us in general. But the but the big, <laughs> he's not <laughs> excluding himself from this terminology, people. So don't get offended. Don't. No, I've comments. never heard turbo nerd before. Alpha nerds. I don't know. <laughs> and I've never heard neckbeard referred to a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's just me. But yes, I, I think it, even though this design is up on Lego Ideas, I don't think it'll catch the 10,000 uh, uh, subs or supporters. But um, they are there. If For those of you who do enjoy these kinds of designs, 
and like me, like the big super robot designs, um, they are there um, to support your, uh, to support him as a creator. Additionally, so keep... oh, he's got look at vehicle, vehicle Voltron. Voltron, which I do yeah. also love and would love to have. So I've supported this one, but again, not nearly close to 10,000 at this point. Um, we do also have a Megazord. Shout out to Savant. You... Yeah, for those of you who uh, like this design and like Megazord in general, this one, I don't think Lego would ever get the IP for this one, particularly with the, the movie that just came out. But it is, again, an awesome design, and I think it, it just warrants a spotlight. As does it transform? As goes. It does. It, it, it turns into these guys right over here, your individual Whoa. bots, including the pterodactyl, which is as ridiculous as the actual pterodactyl on the show. Yeah, they're all really great, except the Triceratops, which was like a motorbike Triceratops. Yeah, it was a tank. And then the, they, they just ran out of ideas, so they just bought the yellow lion from Voltron and uh, got him in there, <laughs> too. Made, made the tiger. Exactly. Yeah, they just pulled his teeth down, and they're like, yeah, you're this, different. This looks pretty good. <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah, it, it, it it looks great. It is totally accurate, but again, I, I, would get I don't that. think they'll ever get it. I don't think Lego's gonna buy this uh, property. Uh, they're not gonna buy the license for it. Um, and then additionally, some other uh, super robot stuff, which again is right up my alley. Um, this is the Amazing Z stuff. Looks really good. Don't transform, but they're just cool looking. Hey, look, friendly diplomacy. Robots. Friendly robots. <laughs> you know, There's some not all robots are about fighting. Some they grow all huge, and then they're like, "Let's make decisions that affect everybody <laughs> <It's> positively." <laughs> so, if you should keep your it's eyes like the Senate, on the Senate scenes in Star Wars, <laughs> keep your eyes on the Netflix Voltron uh, project and ideas, because if it gets pulled suddenly, you know it's up. Canceled. No. Oh, if call. it gets pulled off of that, <laughs> it's because that's the one they're gonna make. Yeah. Yeah, very true. And then uh, this is one that's, that is near and dear to my heart. These are uh, fans of Robotech or Macross. This is the, uh, the VF1S Valkyrie. Look, one um, ring to rule them all. The one that is uh, piloted by Roy Foker. And yet for the Robotech fans, Rest in fully peace. transformable as well. And uh, the very last picture, I believe I included for Matt as some inspiration. This was his Happy New Year, a Happy Chinese New Year post. And just thought okay. maybe it would inspire you to, to help and uh, to help going, keep you going with your uh, your Chinatown. Side My Chinatown, yeah. So, I just have to order cobblestone. Really, is where that's really. that's a real real stock image there of the set, but it does feature a pretty <laughs> sweet dragon going on the parade yeah. dragon. Uh, and what they did for this dragon is they just got the yellow lion from Voltron. And they also <laughs> right over there just. Took the cheap way out and bought the line. I'm calling it like next episode. I'm phoning in. I'll just have the yellow line from Voltron here in my stead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is my spotlight on Len. And D's what what's his creations. what's his name again? Sorry, Len D sixty nine creations, right Good over name. here. Uh, Len D sixty nine. Ash creations, creations by Len D. So that, that I think that means it'd be Facebook.com slash oh, yeah up at the URL Facebook.com slash creations by Len D. Yep. Good so job, Lendy. Just, Keep making robots. For it, you can search for him right over there. His name, his real name is Lendy Tayag from uh, from the Philippines. Ah. And that is all I've got for my spotlight. Oh, all right. We'll we'll keep it rolling right here. We have a screen share for me this time, and I have me selected. We're looking at the thing that we kind of still hope isn't real, but are. On, Unfortunately, <laughs> believing that it is real at this time. Oh yeah, it's real. I, it's if it's fake, it's a damn good job. But I mean, it's too little, too late for Batman movie, in my opinion. What? Why it do is, you? Why do you feel that way? But I mean, what's this I'm opinion? In line. Do you I don't just... think the movie went over that well. Right. There's a few I... more sets trickling out, and. I I don't think anybody needs any more of these Batman. Well, I'll tell There's you, we don't need any more beach for. Batman. Like, beach. we already have a beach Batman with goggles yeah. and flippers. Six through ten got to go. Yeah, six through ten, that's a toss away for me. Uh, I I think, yeah, I like the villains. Like, the reason I'm sort of continuing my interest in the Batman line is, I, I you know, I, I'll get the Mer Batman. Uh, cause he's pretty, 
ridiculous, but I, I just like all the different Batman villains. I've always thought the Batman universe has the best villains out of any comic universe. So yeah, and, he's got a great rogues gallery, and they they sure use them well in this in the Batman the Lego Batman movie. Like probably worth a Google. Everyone. Yeah, a little gurgle. So we got a little uh, Hugo Strange, <laughs> and we got uh, a, a new version of uh, the Killer Moth, Mothman. Uh, we got these Wonder Twins. We have, uh, sorry, it was a Nookshook. <laughs> Apache, Apache Chief. Chief. Apache Enough Chief. Chuck. And we are, uh, we're guessing that he has a SARS blanket, uh, <laughs> a smallpox blanket. <laughs> But I or mean, the jury's out on that. It could be any. It could be something not racist, but it's probably racist because <laughs> Lego apparently can do that because they're not normal white people. I don't know how it works. <laughs> the things I'm they're seeing here European. is uh, that that the mermaid Batman looks like he has a black trident, but yeah, it's probably just gonna be pearl dark gray. Unfortunately. Oh really? No, well, it's never. It's never a cool color like you think. <laughs> All right. And then at the bottom, we got a bunch of weirdos at the bottom. We got not reverse flash, but maybe black lightning, but not black, black bolt. And then we have a girl who's black canary, but pretty much just looks like the female newscaster from that other clay man, clay face set they put out. Uh, that was the mayor, wasn't that the mayor? Yeah, it was the mayor, <laughs> right? Whatever. Caster. It's just Voiced her. Voiced by Mariah Carey. It's just her with fishnets printed on her legs. <laughs> I uh, put fishnet, fish, fishnets on over my knots. And then we got uh, a Diablo. Thing. Diablo. I don't know, Suicide Squad guy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the only Suicide Squad. <laughs> or maybe he's Scareglow from uh, Masters of the Universe. Uh, next to him, we got Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones <laughs> and Kenny Rogers uh, dressed up like Superman's dad to, to cap it all off. Why does, why does uh, Jor-El uh, need like big shoulder armor? I mean, that's just a, I think that's just a traditional Kryptonian mantle. I guess. Is I mean, Kenny Rogers mantle. I don't. I don't see Superman ever with like shoulder pads. And what's the significance of the crystal he's holding? Obviously, it's a one that they like, not the green one they don't like. <laughs> they. Uh, it, it broke off in the um in the Fortress of Solitude, and he's trying to figure out where it needs to re get reattached. Oh, son of a bitch! Where'd this come from? Just assembling Lego. That's all. Chirped he's over it on the floor. Like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and sorry, uh, the guy beside him is Zod, right? You guys told wanna, me that was Zod, not with, Peter yeah, Dinklage. Zod with the capital V neck. I want to see what <laughs> what his uh, newspaper says. Yeah, probably and sounds great. We're not gonna get that for until it comes out, but or the promos come out, promo images. But I want to know what that says. Um, I'm seeing. He really does look like he has short legs. I don't know why. It's, it's and, because... and, and what do you think the one Wonders Twin record is? She, he's got. He's got. She has got a record. She's listening to there. Yeah, I don't know. And I he's mean, got the bucket of water, which is like too hilarious. But yeah, form of a, a bucket of water and a, a gold record, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just a regular record. Olivia gets a gold record from Lego oh, Friends. That's but... right. I mean, Sorry. that might <laughs> not. That might not be the record sleeve. I For think some it reason, is. because of all like the little speckles on it, it kind of looks like honestly, it kind of looks like a sponge game. packaging, like <laughs> like like cleaning supply packaging. To mop up the bucket of water. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> all right. It looks yeah, like we'll Saved by the Bell, doesn't it? So I think we're all unanimous agreeing that the smallpox blanket is probably going to be the best accessory so i, I look right. at it a different way than you guys because i see the uh, the new lightning bolts from nexa knights but in trans yellow right here which is awesome because they're mm -hmm. they've only been in trans light blue so far i see uh that's the classic ray gun but in pearl oh. gold the bat bucks are amazing bat bucks i'll take that's all great. of them please we got a lego friends dolphin <laughs> That's not something we haven't gotten before. Uh, I'm curious about these goggles over the Batman cowl. They do you... nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes! eyes. <laughs> so either the bat cowl is going to have dimples for a visor, any visor, or it's a one-piece new Built cowl with, with goggles on it. 
It's gonna be one of those two things. One, they, and one, you're crossing your wind fingers and hoping you get a black trident. Black trident, but uh, it's probably gonna be pearl dark gray because we everybody loses. Right. And uh, this a Except new. Um, it's not body. an explorer. The the guitar. It's uh, I looked it up once. It's got a, not an exciting name, but the new this style guitar. Olivia had one of those. <laughs> not in this She's color. <laughs> Olivia's so great. Um, I think the clear winner, aside from Olivia, is Clock King. Uh, yeah, with, Olivia. with his two spears. <laughs> Clock, Clock King's King the only great. one we've been waiting on. That's the thing. We haven't been waiting on any of these other ones. Yeah. I mean... That's going to go very well with your polka dot and with yeah. Calendar Man. And yeah, for sure. Calendar Man and, and Kite Clock King. King. Or I see like, these Kite are like the new like terrible tree. Oh, yeah, Clock Man. King, polka dot, and Calendar Man. You like, need to make like, like a, those are just a ridiculous <laughs> six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a terrible trio. I, I don't think we have anyone else worthy of these three uh, and their epicness. I mean, I guess that kite, the the kite guy and calculator could jump in there. Kite man, yeah, calendar man, we're, magpie. We're one away. We're one away. Um, magpie? No, she's not good enough. So of all the all the villains that are in the trailer for the movie, uh, Clock King and uh, Gentleman Ghost are like the ones we haven't had yet. Oh, Gentleman Ghost! I haven't even seen that one. We think they would make well, that with I mean, like just a bunch of clear. I think just put a clear head. I mean, he's he's got like the suit and all that. He just got like clear head and clear hands. Oh yeah, that. you know what, yeah, gentlemen, ghost man, be, that's my um, jam. To do it correctly, like his the post, like his neck post should also be clear. But I don't know if they'll ever be able to do that. Oh no, they wouldn't. And then, and then they wouldn't just do have that. the top hat on him. Yeah, would be awesome though. <laughs> so of the yeah, the ones in the trailer, the Clock King gets us very close to having that complete. Is his eyes are closed. <laughs> Apache Chief's like eyes it, are closed. It? <laughs> it is racist, just like uh, like Matt said. Is, it, is just, it a pillow? Do you put it under his head? He goes to sleep. Like, no, it's he's <laughs> just not. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> his eyes are closed. This he's is really a topic tall. we're gonna get into on another episode. <laughs> he's his very eyes... tall and has to look downwards to, at us. So it's like he oh, he's not. Here, so they're not closed. He's sleep. looking down at the people. You know what he should come exactly. with? He should come with two of those statue figures. Maybe painted oh, like the Wonder idea. Twins or something. That would be awesome. If he had two little statue figures that looked like two other DC property people. So he small. looks big? He's big, they're small, you know. Yeah, so he's like, he's, that, that would be a, a great idea. That's the only kind I have. Okay. That's that segment. <laughs> now we're going to go over to the, uh, unless anybody else has anything they want to say about this. Clock King. Well, they, very last question is uh, the one with the is this ba basically Bat Swag Batgirl? Is that what that is or something? Yeah, that's it, in the in the movie. Um, he he shoots Batgirl with the with the, with the, gun, like, right? the costume gun like five yeah. times in rapid succession, and we get a bunch of different costumes, which we've seen most of them already. Like the the one that was in the tutu in the last series, yeah. that's from that scene. Yeah. The the final rendition is from that scene, um, and then this is one of them too. The, like leader of the Batman fan club. It says Batman fan club on our shirt. So I do like that one a lot. That uh, that one is also one that I that I dig. Well, I like her hood is very cool. Films. Have we seen yeah. this hood before? Uh, I don't think so, because the one that was in Wildstyle wasn't like that. No, this is new because it because it has the ears for no yeah, other reason. Bat ears. So that's cool. That's all new. What are they going to reuse it for? It's got, they have to reuse it for something, don't you? This think? isn't Transformers. They don't have to reuse it for something. Repaint. <laughs> uh, but it's, it it's great. It's great that you get two over. of the bat bucks, which is um, you know, awesome. I also like to think. Well, I mean, that... yeah. What can you buy with one bat buck, right? No, I mean, <laughs> you could have just given her one and something else, but you gave her two, and yeah, uh, I think we're all over batarangs, no matter what color they are. Oh huh, shit! Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> the other thing is, I I keep looking at the Joker, and people have said it looks like the Killing Joke reference because he's holding the camera up to his face. But I and mean, the... that's just. This is what it looks like when you hold the camera up to your face. Yeah, and a popsicle. <laughs> I mean, and, that's the thing. It's a Lego figure. The, the the camera can be in front of his face or in front of his body. To, oh, are those popsicles? Thing. I thought they were flippers. <laughs> no, that's a popsicle. I that's also popsicle. like that no, either yeah, he's right, got yeah. like all white skin, which is believable, <laughs> and then he's got sandals on, or he's wearing socks with sandals. Either, either way. <laughs> either way. And I mean, that Robin is a waste. Like... 
I I don't even know what part of the movie this is supposed to be. Beach. I don't know. I haven't seen the Dude, movie. The, Actually, you know what? I don't. You're right, because I don't. When, did it, they don't go to the beach, right? <laughs> maybe. I think maybe it's supposed to be uh, like, like kind of like an homage to when they had the the uh, the the Adam West Batman kind of click in there real quick. Were they on the beach dancing in that scene? I have to watch the movie again. I haven't seen it since January. Yeah, I have to watch it again too. It's been a while. I haven't even seen it. Oh, we mentioned this before, I, I but we too. didn't go over it again. We get the um, the beach Batgirl for no good reason that comes with the surfboard that has the Batgirl logo on it, real small. Specifically, yeah. specifically, Batgirl. that's uh, you know, that's whatever. Uh, shout out to the series three rapper Boombox because here it is again, same print. Dude, I love that figure. That guy was great. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's Batman. We're also going to look at Lego Ideas, which we talked about last week a little bit. But we're gonna we're gonna go more into it. I clicked around, I figured out what's what, and we're gonna weigh in on the current uh, projects under review. So if you go to the Discover tab, which is the first tab, you can sort on the right side. You filter by a lot of different things. Under Project State, they have different levels for where the project may stand. We have uh, achieved support is the projects that have hit 10,000 since the last cutoff. Oh, look at that. Boathouse Diner, The Lighthouse, The Dive Shop. I wonder who did those. Oh, all the same person? So there's five <laughs> projects here that have reached 10,000 that will all go into the next uh, review. And it's very interesting to think that at least three projects in the next review will all be by the same builder. Is that good? Is that bad? Do you do you think if they only choose one, then that person's just kind of kicking themselves by having three hit at ten thousand at the same time? If he knows they're this popular, he should stagger when he puts them out. Yeah, stay relevant, unless he's just got so many. I'm just building yeah. so hard. Guy... Anton would be so <laughs> proud. Anton's gonna be so proud. <laughs> This guy's either gonna get a whole line after his designs, where they just they're gonna pump them out, or He's gonna lose all these designs to Lego because I'm. Sh there has to be a thing where when when it hits the ten thousand, Lego gets the they get the design. It's got to be something like that. Maybe think? uh maybe they'll hire him. Maybe he'll be the next uh, Adam Reed Tucker. Maybe. And then, then no he'll more, be naming no Anton's other people's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He's he not Anton anymore. <laughs> and uh, what we're looking at today is the uh, interview. But I one other thing I wanted to show you yeah, when maybe. I was here. When I was here, oh, look at that more castle crawl. How do you do this thing? Hold on, the um, site is just awful. Uh, you have two, you got two filters on for one thing. That was what threw me off last. So, time if we could get oh, a here, here it is down here, get... the sort by the sort by is what I was looking for. So, most supported that'll go from top to bottom. The one I really wanted to point out was this stitch because it looks <laughs> RuPaul's brick race. I'm sorry, yeah, that, that, that ain't never it anywhere. <laughs> I love his platform shoes. That's brilliant. It's just two <laughs> plates underneath. Yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, look at this motorcycle, though. I'd buy that. That is a pretty awesome bike. Oh, I, look, I more, more dilapidated oh. than this. Anton's uh, blacksmith. <laughs> I uh, do like this, this design a lot, though. This stitch right here has exactly what is needed to be an ideas project. Like This, this will be, not the next project, but this will be set. up there. This yeah. is made by Tyler Kleitz, Legoholic. He's a pretty well-known builder in the Lego community. Does he shop at your store? He has in the, in the past, go. yes. He always leaves a bad review. I don't even <laughs> look at the at the, the feedback. Don't but read the comments. This thing. That's what they say. <laughs> this is totally buildable. It's not that big. This would go great with the Wall-E yeah. and other uh, Disney properties. This It's perfect. Look at, you know... The opposability, it's, yeah. You can do whatever you want with this one. Sad. Look, he's sad. Attentive. Oh, na na. Fluffy. He's fluffy. <laughs> he's seven yeah. inches tall. 13 points I'd, of joint. 13 points of it. articulation. <laughs> so, Does he have an ankle rocker, though? Yeah, no, like no, an no ankle at all. <laughs> his, I think his legs Tilt the ankle. Just Bobby won't like rotate. it. Rotate. Bobby won't like it. Tilt the ankle. <laughs> He needs to brush his teeth will... and get some white teeth. He's got the gingivitis. Is what he's, got. <laughs> he's got the gingivitis. I mean, you could have used white studs. No one would have. 
been opposed to that. That, that might be what, once Lego gets their hands on it, maybe they'll. That'll do that. be the it's biggest change. Partnership with Disney, they'll they'll give him white teeth. They'll give him white teeth. Get that so guy. To I, the I really think this project has what it takes. I don't know if you guys agree. It's currently would, at where the fuck is it? They're eighty-three ninety hundred. <laughs> but I it's only got four hundred and two days left. <laughs> oh no! It has more than a year. <laughs> <laughs> can you um can you check on the Lego comments? I'm curious to see what they said. Oh, oh, they always like good job. Keep up the cool work. Hey, keep on <laughs> building, master builder. Hey. Yeah, that's that's pretty much wow, it. You more days. Five... Good job. <laughs> you've 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 extended your time to finish oh. by eight years. <laughs> good luck. You've <laughs> unlocked see. easy mode. That's di that's different. Back in the day, when before Lego Ideas got as big as it is now, like they used to actually give legitimate comments. Like, yeah, this Please. isn't gonna work out for you. <laughs> Keep building. You're doing great, Anton. <laughs> uh, so, project state is the one that we're looking at in review. Not project category. All right, so they've been reordered. I don't know why, but that's yeah. okay. I think it's because now I'm by most supported, even though they're all at 10,000. Exactly. They're all no, they're so alphabetical. There are Reverse 17, alphabetical. <laughs> there, there are 17 projects right now that Damn. are in review, which has got to be up there, if not the most that are in review at one time. I don't Although think I've seen this, 17 before. But... I wonder if this counts more than one review period, because they get kind of backlogged. But we're not going to worry about that too much right now. We're going to look talk about at these things. Sets. I'm not going to go into each one because there's 17 of them. You can click on them. You can look at the photos. You can hear all about it. But we're just going to hover over them. Yeah, here. here. Here's the URL. Look at how complicated it is. <laughs> That's back. <laughs> so Quest Builder is like the D&D &D thing. And they did a good job of using only Lego elements, even though they did it digitally. So they're all in colors that don't exist yet. That's my jam. And... And uh, Red Arrow's Hawk is a pretty good-looking airplane. Yeah. It's a nice jet. But it's an airplane. Yeah, I mean, like if the they had done says. a helicopter, I think Lego would have done on that. <laughs> done. NBC is the office. Well, that's not going to happen. Nope. Yeah. It's, it, it looks good, but it's no relevant? way. Yeah, that think... show's only been off the air for a thousand years. I think the big problem here is that they approved and made a set out of the Big Bang Theory, which uh, opened people up to thinking, oh, they'll make any TV show. They'll yeah. make yep. any room. <laughs> <laughs> What's a room we can have them make? We got another room coming up. Down, Scroll down. We got another room. Lego rooms. Okay, they so now the, we got the... Uh, this player. is apparently the Lego Ideas Jam. Three small things. Three small things and, and a <laughs> set you will have. Yes, so Sega <laughs> Classic Arcade. It's pretty cool. Three small things. Three small things, yeah. and they'll make it. Um, uh, Surf yeah. Rescue. I don't know how the hell this made it to 10,000. Yeah, it looks boring. It makes no sense to me at all. Other than maybe people think it's supposed to be... Is it supposed to actually be like an homage to Baywatch, maybe, or something like that? Like I This don't... looks like nothing to me. It looks like know. a... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They They're must just... have some real pull or something, because, like, the account is Lego Surf Rescue. They're all in on this yeah, project. They pretty much them. branded themselves at this point. This every might be like when I described if you have a big enough pull and you just kind of crank out ideas projects and they all hit <laughs> 10,000 because people are like, sure, I'll click on this. Why not? I'll click once. That's fine. Um, you know what? Maybe this guy is out there on the beach. He saves you from drowning, and then he goes, gives you a card and says, support my Lego idea. <laughs> You've just been surf rescued. If this gets... Uh, we're going to have another marina set like next year, and then everyone's going to be like, what the hell? They stole surf rescue. Surf rescue. <laughs> next up, Mighty Morphin. Enough. We've talked too much about surf uh, rescue. Sabans, Mighty Morphin <laughs> Power Rangers. All right, sure. That old. Oh show. my God! Alpha Five's head is just a dish put on a mini fig neck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. I mean, I would, I wouldn't mind the minifigures on this. So here's, here's one that's thing. That's it's like Green Ranger and White Ranger. It's the same guy. It's the it same sure is. guy. It's the same guy. What are the? What are the, This thing, It's a render, clearly. But what are these helmets? Is it like Iron Man helmets, uh, like fully painted up? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're actually just like they just created their own helmet 
in the well, hopes that then that's make... like the number one thing you're not allowed to do on ideas. Bad so, idea. You know, no new <laughs> friends. I am your father. So I so I just don't see them doing a Star Wars thing, especially like a tragic moment set. <laughs> also, so I remember it's, like I mean it's it's one of the most significant moments in movie <laughs> history. I guess you could that's say that's impossible. <laughs> ah! Don't call the set spoilers. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. I didn't know he was his father. Um, <laughs> now, right here, obviously since Gilmore Girls is <laughs> full of collect, like the fan base is just full of collectors who love building shit. Like, okay, man, like who did this? Rainier Zufall. He got 10,000 supporters. It's, well, he, he or she, I mean, like, what, what is a Rainier? Rainier. I mean, there's, well, a Jim, Rainier. there's, there's, there's Jim Rainier from Starcraft, but uh, that's one thing. I don't know, man. Like, what's the point? I, I feel like they just the shared it in like the Gilmore fan. Girls fan club Facebook yeah. page, and it yeah. got ten thousand votes the next day. Yeah, exactly. Do they have Gilmore Girls conventions. Maybe you know what you know what drives me nuts about that show is every character talks the exact same. Like it's like just the town populated with one character. It's maddening. Oh, it's maddening. I think I, I think I um I figured something out. So down here they have how many views it got. Oh, so the one with the lowest view count had the best like click rate for supporting. Quest Builder had a million views. And only they 10, one one percent of them clicked. But on it. but it caps. They might have got a hundred thousand supporters. I guess that's true. You know they have five hundred forty-two comments. They have three K shares. That's pretty cool. That's true. You know, so I'm seeing two hundred four thousand views. All right, so and so Blues Mobile, Blues Mobile which I think they're going nice. after the whole Ecto One DeLorean kind of aesthetic, but iconic '80s cars, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. I mean, if you look at this person's project, there's pro probably also an A-team van somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a... Nobody talks about the Blues Brothers anymore. Yeah, it's got its fans, of course, but this, I don't think... But they're, like, all like... about to die. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. You know, it's like, I get it. It was fun. Jim Belushi. Uh, it also has the lowest view count I'm seeing so far, with only ninety-eight thousand, which means ten percent. Well, a lot of the, a it. lot of them don't know how to use the internet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although uh, we might see that, we might see that not be the lowest very soon, because we're going down here to dilapidated building number one, medieval Sad watermill. building number one. Anton's I'm not gonna watermill. lie, I I like the design. I I don't. I, I love it. Buy it's it. just great. It. Think of how hard movie. Anton is going to rape this project <laughs> and make it his own. Yeah. Like, it, it won't when, get made. That's the when thing. this gets handed to a designer, he's going to be like, okay, sweep it off the table. Let's start fresh. I see you want to have a building. I can make a building. I've made yeah. plenty of buildings. Here it's we go. It's shaped like a triangle. Lego friend set. Just like that. <laughs> Olivia's beach house. Uh, <laughs> like... Yeah, here's the thing. I don't. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. I see all kinds of mocks like this with the uh, staggered, overlapping bricks, and uh, they're awesome. But like nobody's building like that. That you can have plop one of those in your in your setup, and it it looks like a real thing. You know. And I don't know if those if that is technically like an allowable build style. Like can can <laughs> Lego, can you do that in Lego? Like. <laughs> exactly like i, I think because it, it's not technically a, like a lockdown piece or not yeah what's the clutch piece. power you know you that? well that's an actual <laughs> yeah, thing exactly. it's called illegal techniques and i'm sure this is full of them oh yeah, yeah. that's like in the lego idea ideas mandate there there's certain oh. ways that lego will not connect pieces because it puts too much stress on the brick or Oof. it's too complicated for young children yeah. so like, one of the um, most common 
Uh, Paul, if you would like to, you can tell Matt about it. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know if it's the same that you, that you were going to mention, but Probably. Um, when, when I was talking to Adam Retucker again throughout his uh, architecture stuff, he actually has a really cool model of the St. Louis Arch. And um, obviously, an arch like that is not really something that you can create very well with, with Lego bricks. And what he did, I don't really know if I can show it, but basically, you have, let's say, I don't know, a, a two by four piece, and then you have a, a, a one by two piece, and then you basically, um, you kind of clamp the one by two in between the two two by four, so it kind of starts to slope, it will make it like a fan angle, and mm -hmm. that was deemed an illegal build. Yeah, they're not because... fully put together. Flag on the play, exactly. flag on the play. <laughs> exactly. So the one I was gonna mention is back Wait. in the, 70s uh they would put a tile on its side wedged between the studs on a plate oh, so yeah. if you think of the old yeah. cop cars that didn't fit a minifigure inside they're like four wide and three tall cop cars the lights on the top would be like a clear tile just on its side wedged between the studs of the roof of the car and that's something they don't do anymore no it's illegal all right so Medieval up, water mill, too illegal for Legoland. Too illegal. <laughs> I, I really like this one because I think it's a total cash grab. <laughs> Unless, of course, what's up today? <laughs> did the Saturn V? Did the Saturn V rocket, but I don't <laughs> think he did. But I, I don't, don't believe know. so. Let's just assume he's a jerk. So this is a <laughs> launch tower, launch umbilical tower Ooh. that is is uh, that is a uh, made. To go with, we even has the platform and probably a crawler too, to go with your Saturn V rocket idea set, which is like, hey, just spent two hundred dollars. How about another two fifty? <laughs> yeah, probably there's more bricks in it than the. Uh... Probably. Yeah, this is a this is the Fan Toys Omega Part B right over here that you need yeah, to complete. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then uh, Venetian houses. I mean, that's just a nice looking friend set. Very cute little Olivia's mom's homeland. <laughs> uh, you know, I get it. It's nice. Chain, you know. Matt, can you name the other four friends? Nope. <laughs> I literally looked up her name before I shared that picture. <laughs> like moments uh, before I shared the picture. I'm like, oh, there yeah. there were, there's probably a Stacy. Oh. There's well, always actually, an Amanda. There's, there's, there's a lot of like townspeople from Heart Lake City that aren't the five friends. There's a lot of like moms and All aunts right. and, I, and I guess we could do an episode. Olivia, Emma, <laughs> Stephanie, Andrea, and, looking this up. and and Mia. Yeah, so somebody's looking this up right now. You didn't guess all of them. No. Oh god, no. <laughs> That's what the internet's for. Okay. Well, yeah, you know, Venetian houses, as you can see, only has ninety thousand hits. And then we go down here, and oh shit, the Peru, the Peru one's crushing it with hits. <laughs> Three forty-three thousand hits for right. the wonders of Peru. Click, click on that one. Okay. Let's get, <laughs> let's get in this little shadow box here. Three hundred forty-three thousand in one vote. Like, one I get it. It's cute, but Peru. Like, do you think, do you think, like, the Peruvian government commissioned this? Well, I'm about to brinkalize <laughs> this. It's got hinges. It closes. The whole thing closes up. So, so you, you can, can close it, it up and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> right in the garbage. <laughs> the doors close up. What there if, you go. What right. if the creator of this is watching this show right now? Now he's sad. Well, you know. want to throw it in the garbage. Bro, Say I hello to my go. little friend. I want to go to Peru. I don't want to build a box of Peru. <laughs> I think it looks like it's actually a pretty huge set, too. Like, it's going to be way Those are freaking big. granular trees. Get out of here, Peru. <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but these are the granular trees. Like, come on, shut this down right now. So what's, what, are, what are they from? What are they just... They're from the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Lego pieces from the 1950s. I'm bringing them back. I'm bringing them back. Oh, look at the uh, the Aboriginal fellow on the bridge. We got a llama under the bridge. I mean, there's some good stuff going on here. Might even be an alpaca. So, if it came with those trees, would you uh, would you buy this like just so you can get those pieces? 
he they wouldn't be they wouldn't like be original. Well, it doesn't have to be the original, but if they that would mean they would bring them back out again and, and use those pieces again that were formerly unbiased. Are they serving oh, cervezas down here? Yeah, that's the Corona. Can't, that. Can't have Corona. Actually, you know, I don't know what the <laughs> official beer of Peru is. The I mean, like in Guatemala, you got Gallo, and uh, it's always something weird, some knockoff of something. But no, this is this whole. I, I can't even. This is a render. Like this isn't built. But I can't, I, I can't even name how many things in here are just big flags. Like, nope. <laughs> okay. Like Breaking that big graphic. flag. The flag. <laughs> the flag they don't make anymore. Which the big flag is that a least, flag? At least three of them. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Do they make and, that bridge uh, still? Actually, I think that's um, Spanish for a uh, forest and uh, mountain and uh, beach or coast. Right, I but um, just highlighting they got it all. Triple threat, triple threat, <laughs> and singer, alpacas. dancer, actress, like my girl Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this this I mean I don't know why there's an alligator up in the freaking Andes. There's a monkey coming <laughs> off the bridge. But there's an alligator up in the Andes. <laughs> Andes goes to Peru, right? Andy Gator. Okay. That's enough out of you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a snake! <laughs> you know what? I'm just cruising the dark web here and finding some information on Olivia from Lego Friends. Oh. I, <laughs> I think we could do like a trivia night. Only you. Are, are we here. still on Peru? <laughs> let's let's move this along. Yeah, I think that's, that's what the hell, hell is even going on Peru. here? Look at the—he's got that snake wand. <laughs> What the hell is oh my God. The, the Beside the fellow in the burlap yeah, sack. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> besides, this, besides this homeless man right here. There's a snake. I, <laughs> and yeah. And the Lego head dress feathers that they don't make anymore for obvious reasons. They make them still. Sky alligators. That sun is looking so jolly. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad angle. I love that the roof of this box, the ceiling, is just two gigantic bricks. Yeah. Like, larger than you could imagine. It's like a 24 by 24 brick. <laughs> by one. 24 by 24 by one. Yeah, so this one is not going to be uh, approved. I think that, that much is safe to me. <laughs> you know, like... Maybe. Here's how many many figures I want it to come with. I will accept no less. These are all old school figures, too. With the with the old school smile. Bet you anything that's them. <laughs> that's Peru. No, that, that's the person who built it. Dibs. Oh. Okay, we are getting out of this Peruvian yeah get out of Peru. jungle right here. Uh, that's not gonna make it. The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I think if this was. A different <laughs> was that made by a guy named Chad? That's well, my CK80. guess. Chad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I follow now. Yeah, you with so, me on this one. Good work, Chad. I'm with you on that you one. made a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a black Rubicon, so I wanted to make a black Rubicon. It's an excellent black Rubicon. Does it have a bumper sticker that says "It's a Jeep thing" on it? Probably. <laughs> and no, it has a bumper sticker that says, if you can read this, flip me over. <laughs> so if that was a different car manufacturer, I'd say it has a shot. But as it's Jeep, I don't think it has a shot. Yep. It's got to be Volkswagen if they wanted that to go through, apparently. Or Mercedes or Porsche. Or, well, actually, I'll think those are all the same thing anyway. Yep. And... Yeah. Whatever the top brand in there is, whatever the mother... Um, there's another airplane that's going under the guise of research aircraft. Yeah, boring. And then we got another space shuttle. I think that mm, space shuttle. I think it's in scale with the Saturn V as well. Does that recall? So it takes yeah, so like that's, that's the a, a micro the statue figs. The Tron Legacy light cycle, because I like Tron Legacy, though I don't think this has any relevance anymore in order. 
Also, they need two more things to go next to this one thing. Yeah, I think if they had, like, <laughs> the other color of light bike, maybe. Yeah, they had that an orange cool. one, they had a blue one, and maybe they had um the, the, the white one that... um. Three you know, small things. What, okay, if you look at this one a little closer, though, I think this one would have a chance... Just because I think it's such a classy looking little display. It does look good and it is a Disney uh, it's a Disney property. property. Yeah. So there's a there could be a chance, or they could just be like, This is our property. We're, we're gonna do our own version of this. So screw it. I you. went to Disney World three years ago and I was like really excited to maybe like find some cool Tron legacy stuff, but I was wrong. Late at the time. Yeah. They use the electro suit Batman uh, torso or or um, probably the legs and the arm pieces. I want to find that electricity. That Batman. actually might be this the torso backwards. Yeah, I think it is because there's the utility belt. Just swap the arms over. Good call. Yeah, just swap the arms over and the same legs. T Ron. Oh, you can make this too. Actually, I have an electro suit Batman for sale in my store right now. What? I might Save it, it for me. What? I, I, I might make this and then save it for you. And that's just Indiana Jones's face. You can make it, and then I'll buy it. Yeah, but dude, I, I want, want the Batman. <laughs> I want it for Batman. Next. This this is simple as hell. I can do this. I can make one of them because I have one of the. Batman. Yeah. He's not that excuse. He's got seven legs. Awesome. I mean, I'm not in love with the bike. Yeah, I think it's kind of. I like cool. the idea, though. I think the idea is it, it's a smart idea. They did a good job with 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 the, what they're like trying I've to make. I've seen somebody else with a better version of that bike. It's probably bigger. Maybe. If it was bigger, it'd be, it would look more badass, to be honest. So what's going on here? Is this the Technic steering wheel in Translite Blue? Is it a wagon wheel? Mm, oh, it might be a wagon wheel because of how squared off it looks. Because mm -hmm. you could do uh, clear? you could do a wagon wheel with a stud in it, and then the tube from the stud going in between the four studs on this boat stud here, that would hold that on. Yeah. No. Uh, uh. Actually, since this is actually built, this isn't a render. This is actually built. We could a wagon wheel unless it's um. There are a lot of non-production parts out there. See, this is oh, one that never can mind. Be I'm easily... dumb. This is just a. This is a. This is a three dish, a three wide dish, just with the point inwards. In fact. Uh. You can see it's four four eight eight two is the number right there, Holy which shit, or something like that, something like that, which would be, it's going to correspond to whatever dish that is. That's a three dish. Never mind. Not as cool as I thought. Just a three dish. <laughs> Screw three this guy. Dish here. Throw it out. Throw Votes it out. Revoked. Votes revoked. <laughs> Take them away. I like down here they have like recommended projects. Like, not quite satisfied with this one? Here, jump on somebody else's bandwagon. Yeah. <laughs> it's got more minifigures. That's good for me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, so do you want to go into the Blacktron thing, or is it far too late for that? I mean, we were going to – let's save it, because like, we were just going to talk about what we thought about these sets. We basically ripped some apart. And didn't really say who we think is viable. Uh, I, I'll just throw my thoughts out there then. Uh, of those, I think the one that I'll probably do it is the three little things, the uh, the arcade set. <laughs> three um, small things. I think three small they'll, things they'll, to rule yeah, them all. Three small things. They'll they'll change the video games themselves um, into Lego fied versions of arcades. But I think that's the one that's going to get made. Right. Uh, I'm into the uh, dungeon crawler set. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. I think there's a new concept of playability there that I think some people might get behind. So, you know, I'm into it. I like that. I would support that, too. I think I mentioned last time. I, I like those are the kinds of ideas that I would support just entirely. But also uh, the fact that... Matt, you spelled my name wrong. Plays. 
what? My first yeah, name. <laughs> curse. <laughs> <laughs> you would have picked up on that last time if you put it up. Curse. Shut up. <laughs> I would have picked Brian. up on the first time. Classic oh, curse. That. Curse burn. <laughs> um, I agree with Paul. I think the three small things has a pretty good shot. I definitely don't think Peru has a shot. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I I also think the the red arrow airplane thing has a shot. I don't really? know. I think that'll turn into a creator three in one set like those other jets. <laughs> I think that's so boring. Yeah, exactly. Did you guys see that? There's a no, we probably didn't, but there's there's new creator sets that are out there for uh, 2018 that are minifig scale vehicles, but they don't come with minifigures. Whoa. Like it has a seat and everything and a steering wheel. So they've made plenty of creator sets without many figures, but these ones are like, they have that's a gap good. like right there. You're like you could put a figure right there, but they don't come with one. Huh. So that's, I think it's a test to see, do kids officially not care about creator? <laughs> Basically. We're going to find out. Is it just grandmothers buying these? <laughs> kind of. You get three sets in one. What a value. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time for episode four, where we might cover things that we bump every time. <laughs> We're on air still. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell while I'm looking at the. Oh, because I was tell the wrong I didn't have button. pants on.